Hey guys, it's Nice Clips. So one thing about me is that I love Degrassi and I love watching any type of like commentary videos on it or just any content about it, but there's really not a lot out there because the fandom is pretty small. I mean, it's a well-known show because Drake was in it, but other than that, I feel like not a lot of people watched it. So I need somewhere to put my opinions about this show. And so this is it. And so this video is about characters that I don't like. There are a few that are pretty well liked within the fandom, but these characters were just pretty awful to me and didn't really have many redeeming qualities so let's get started and talk about Emma Nelson oh brother this guy stinks she was kind of the main character of the first set of seasons because she was Spike's daughter and blah 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 but she was just such a terrible person let's talk about how she dated Peter the guy that took advantage of her best friend and I just feel like Manny was always just so forgiving and so supportive of Emma when Emma never returned that energy Emma was just always mad she was always a hater she was always shaming Manny being rude to Liberty and I just really don't understand how any of the other girls tolerated her because I definitely could not. So here are a few examples of Emma just being a terrible friend. Manny, no! I'm dating Peter! What? What are people gonna think of me if Chris goes out with Liberty next? That's, that's the meanest thing I've ever heard you say. And that's really saying something. But I'm not getting pregnant. Why are you trying to hurt me? Just because I'm dressing like- You're dressing like an idiot. I'm getting an abortion. You can't. Yeah, and those were only just a few examples. Like, I could keep going if I wanted to, but for the sake of time, let's move on to our next character, Imogen Marino. Um... Hmm, I liked her when she dated Fiona and that's pretty much it. So right from the jump, she started off the show pretty annoying because she was like obsessed with Eli, even though Eli's mind was clearly elsewhere. This man was writing a whole play to win his ex back and he was clearly struggling mentally, but did that phase Imogen? No, it did not. Don't you get it, Imogen? You are to me, but I'm to Claire and I'm nothing to her. And then let's talk about how she went for Adam, even though Adam had a girlfriend, Becky, and Becky went to Imogen and said, excuse me, I see you're flirting with my man, and this needs to stop immediately. I'm open-minded. Like you. Well, then you better open your mind to the fact that Adam has a girlfriend. Did that stop Imogen? No, it did not. As you can see, she impersonated Fiona because she didn't want Fiona to move on and graduate and get a job. That was very weird, very disrespectful. And then finally, let's talk about this moment at the lockers with Dallas and all the jocks. And let's see what Imogen says here. Sorry, ladies. I won't be able to buy this lesbian thing unless you prove it. Let's see a kiss. Ew. Ew. Like, what, wh why would she say that? She could have said anything else, yet she chose to stand there and embarrass Fiona like that. But anyways, let's move on to our next character, Johnny DeMarco. Why they chose to make this man a character out of Degrassi is beyond me. After what happened with JT. You stood there while your friend stabbed my friend to death. And then he had the nerve to bully Toby afterwards. After he watched his best friend murder his best friend. Like, you're absolutely sick. Let's see what else. He dated a freshman when he was a senior. He slept with her and lied to her, saying that he was a virgin when he really wasn't. Um, just a bully and wasn't he wasn't even an interesting bully at that. He was actually quite boring. And people will probably say, oh, but he changed, he went to college, he got a haircut, he helped Allie when she ran No, I don't care. That's not enough. That that wasn't a good enough redemption arc for me. Um and so I didn't like him. And moving on, we have another main character, Claire Edwards. She was such a selfish drama queen. I could not stand it. Why does everything have to be so dramatic? Move on, Claire. See, Katie goes out of her way to avoid drama, and you are drama. I am not drama. So I liked her when she first got the little haircut, she was cute, she was sweet, and towards the end of the show I also liked her, but in the middle, so basically the majority chunk of her character, I could not stand her. Everything had to be about her. She did not care about her friend's problems most of the time and she would always like, like when something would go on between a boy and her friend, she would always forgive the boy and not the friend. Find someone else to ride with, we're full. It's a long way to bike back home. Uh, wanna ride with us? 
Awesome, thanks. Yeah, so just absolutely out of pocket behavior from her as a friend, as a girlfriend. And I feel like Adam, Casey, Connor, and Dave were the only ones that were real enough to step up and make that video about Claire and make fun of her to show everybody just how truly annoying she was. You have to be freaking kidding me! Did you flick a switch and erase me from your memory? Did you ever love me at all? Okay, so let's move on to the next character that I don't like, um, which is this girl right here, Lola Pacini. So this is where we start to get a little bit risky because I feel like a lot of people liked her, but I just did not. She just annoyed something within me most of the time let's start off from the moment she kissed her best friend's boyfriend or he kissed her really but then she wanted to be like oh you you kissed me girl you were flirting like the hand on the shoulder let's not pretend like you didn't know what you were doing and then the real icing on the cake was how in next class she dated the guy that her best friend liked and she calls herself asking like oh shay do i have permission to date tiny i don't care how much you asked for quote-unquote permission you don't date the guy that your best friend likes like, i feel like that's it's common sense in a best friend relationship and she, then she had the audacity to say oh shay stole him from me honey <laughs> You stole him first. You stole him first. Fine. Never have I ever dated someone even though I knew my friend liked him first. For the gazillionth time, you said it was okay. No, you just don't like it that you're single and I'm not. Oh! Now that's how you clear up it! And then also how she had the whole little situation with Miles, even though Miles had a boyfriend who was in a coma. And a lot of people shipped this relationship, but every time this relationship was on my screen, I just wanted to skip so bad. Like, I could not stand it. Um... Ugh, like, I, I just, it just felt wrong. And one more thing before I move on, there was this little microaggression moment towards Shay that I did not and will never forget about. Northern Tech is gonna be in trouble next week. We're playing against the zoo. They are scary. Because they all look like criminals. No offense. Why would I be offended? Mm. Anyways, to close this video out, I'm going to do a couple of honorable mentions of characters I didn't too much care for slash disliked. So firstly, it was Jane. I feel like a lot of people liked her, but I didn't too much care for her because not only did I find her just a little bit boring, but she also cheated on Spinner and ruined Peter's band. Like, it was a pretty solid band before she came in. Next is this girl, Jack. Um, gosh, she was just... Uh, she treated Imogen kind of terribly, even though I didn't really like Imogen, but still, the way she treated her was wow. Anyways, that's going to be the end of this video. There are obviously more characters that I didn't like, but I didn't mention them, you know, such as Luke or Ashley, because everyone dislikes them. So I just wanted to mention some characters that would spark some conversation. But at the end of the day, this is all just fun and games. It's just a show as much as I like to pretend it's real, but I would love to hear you guys' opinions too on different characters that you disliked within the show. All of these characters made their mistakes, so thank you guys for watching and I hope to catch you in my next video.